Now to Rick Santelli in Chicago on debt in the next generation. Rick. Yeah, I'll tell you, boy, that's a, that's a big topic coming from the father of three. Hey, a couple of months ago, I did a spot on the Santelli Exchange talking directly to young people. Listen to a little portion of it. As a voting block, all of you people out there about 27 or younger, I just want you to understand the lay of the land. Your generation and the generations to follow you that aren't born yet are paying for a meal that previous generations like mine have eaten. We're sending you the check. Wake up, young people. Well, that was a couple of months ago, and even though I wasn't going to mention it, just a couple of weeks ago, the president took my line about giving the bill, but he didn't do it the same way. But anyway, welcome Charles Kirk. And why do I have Charles Kirk here today? Because a couple of months ago, you happened to catch that spot, and, and did it affect you in any way? Well, absolutely. I saw it. I was inspired. I decided to take action. I got this group, Turning Point USA, and all the all my fellow friends here, we decided to take action and speak for our generation. Now, you didn't start Turning Point, though, in May. It had been going, but it it gave you a little bit of horsepower, and I guess I want to know why, what do you see going on that you related to and what I said, and why do you disagree with the powers that be that are talking directly to you, hey, they're trying to forgive your student loans. Well, it's just what you talked about in the previous segment. We're getting pounded with unbelievable amount of debt that we're going to have to pay off. Miguel's going to have to pay it. Connor's going to have to pay it. But the politician of today, they're not talking about future generations, they're talking about instant gratification. That's the biggest problem going on in this country right now. We're going to have to pay for Washington's bad mistakes. Okay, where I come from, when somebody wants to hand you something, and granted, they're not totally all in on forgiving student loans or changing principal on mortgages, but they're working on it all the time. And the closer the election gets, the more they're going to work on it. You think that's a disingenuous offer? Well, I mean, I believe in merit. I believe in hard work. I work very hard for what I do, and I believe America was built on those principles. Miguel works very hard. We work for our living. We work for our family. We work for our college. I'm going to work myself through college. I'm going to take minimal loans. I'm going to make sure that I graduate debt-free. I'm okay, not now, let me ask all of you a question, though, okay? Let's say that you don't choose wisely. You choose a cruddy college, you choose a cruddy curriculum, and it's really expensive. And when you get done, you have $200,000 worth of debt, and you have no job. Are you going to say, oh, I want my money back? What do you think? Is that something you could live with? Whose fault is it? We really can't ask for our money back. Even though the government is talking about loan forgiveness, it's the biggest sham that I've ever heard. Whether it's at the individual level or the collective level, we are still going to have to pay this debt back. Your thoughts? You know You've got to be responsible for your own debts because somebody's going to have to pay it back in the long run. Nothing is free. I mean, yeah, um, you can you can give me a piece of paper that says my college is paid for, but that doesn't mean you can't just erase money. Money has to come from somewhere. It doesn't come from nothing. You know, uh... Hillary Clinton once said, you know, it's all about a village. And even though I can understand that community is important, what do people here think? Do you want to work from a collective perspective, or do you think when you get up every day you want to be the best person you could be and that the country's better off for that? Do you agree or disagree with that? Well, I, I don't agree with Hillary Clinton's claims. I think that this country is about individualism and us being able to go out and to pursue happiness on our own as, as we see But it. no guarantees you'll catch it. I've used that line. Absolutely. Listen, Charlie, I've done a lot of talking, but I would urge young people to go to what websites? Uh, TurningPointUSA.net. We're doing some very exciting things all across the country, 13 active college chapters. We're going to be a big force in this election. There's always two sides to every story, and this is a side that I haven't been really very aware of, but it seems to be growing. Back to you. Thanks for bringing us that story, Rick Santelli.